Hello everybody, it's Dr. Rick dropping in on you. It's a little late in the evening uh, for me, but this is something that I wanted to touch on today while it was fresh on my mind. Uh, I heard uh, Tony Lindsay talking about this, and it's definitely something that we need to really get a handle on. I do the best I can to be informative, uh, to educate uh, to empower, to inspire, to create solutions uh, to the enigmatic issues that we face as a community to help stem the crisis that seems to be ever expanding. And I have to admit that it is frustrating to see us fight so heavily against the very nature of the things and the people and the resources that are trying to uh, in, inspire us to grow and to become what we're capable of becoming. Before I knock this out, and this won't be long at all, I promise you, 10 minutes or less, but let me tell you something. We have a problem, and I want to remind you first and foremost that we are still in the middle of a fundraiser. If you believe the work, uh, in the work that we've done at the Odyssey Project, uh, in research, in program development, and as a think tank, as, uh, a resource for the inner city please show some love and support and give but look at this we as a people are going to have to get outside of the box of this binary viewpoint of binary perspective as it pertains to politics uh, we have been uh, so misled so programmed with this idea of the two-party system that we literally lock in and we become so laser focused on this idea of either or that we can't see the entire scope of possibility outside of what what's in front of us and what that allowed the system to do is sell us a bill of goods call the lesser of two evils so what the what the scam is the scam is these are your two options that's the scam that scam has worked for several hundred years these are your two options you got democrats you got republicans these are what these people do these are what these people do and you got to choose your poison you got to pick your poison and so no one ever explores the idea outside of the box at the moment that someone tries to get out of the outside of the box run independent run green party or whatever everybody says they're crazy everybody moves against it everybody thinks it's amazing to me how we consistently complain about a system in the way that it oppresses us and we do everything we can to defend the system and here's the other thing that it does it leads us when we can only see this binary illusion because that's all it is is an illusion that these are the good people these are the bad people or these are the good people or these are bad depending on where you are everybody's got game ran on them but the problem is nobody suffers more because of the game than blacks blacks are at the bottom of this this higher this this leveled out tier hierarchy that everybody is in and the wealthy elite control and everybody is layered primarily based on wealth but also in a socioeconomic uh, offset so you have some blacks that are doing okay because they have paper but they're not doing equally okay with the with the people who don't look like them who have the same amount of paper so that's still this variance in the tier system but here's what happens when you when you buy into this binary idea that it's democrat or it's republican you miss the uh the reality that there are other options that you have the ability to say I'm not satisfied I'm not happy and then you make a move you don't have to sit there and take the lesser two evils and for the people who keep saying why do uh, why do Democrats seem to get all the smoke I'm gonna get to that one in a minute Tony Lindsay again made a very valid point on that and I want to touch on it but here's what I want to say what this binary idea does is when we start pointing out something, it, and, and it happens on both sides, but because blacks vote pre predominantly Democrat, it happens a lot when you're talking to black people when you're addressing the stuff that Democrats do wrong. Because here's the thing, the moment that 
someone says something about a Democrat, the immediate response is what? You must be Republican. If somebody says something about Biden, you must be a, 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 a mega, a MAGA, whatever it is, make, make America, whatever. You must be that. And, and then if you're talking about Republicans, they swear you are a leftist. And, 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 and the left, people on the left swear when you start calling them out that, that you're on the right. The truth of the matter is I, I, I want to be on the, on the side of truth. I want to be on the side of, uh, of opportunity. I want to be on the side of empowerment for my people. I would much rather see people representing the interest of the people that I love than sitting up. I'm saying I'm a left or a right because I know how the game is played. See, that left wing and that right wing belong to the same bird. That bird has been sitting on the head of black people from day one. So then what must I do? I must be willing to step outside of the confines of this box that has been created that says it's either or and you pick the lesser of two evils and the evils are actually equal. They just play different. One is going to talk smooth to you while stabbing you in the back. The other one is just going to hit you in the front of the head with a brick, but you're going to get screwed either way. And, the, and, and, and so what, what, what blacks have determined is they, 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 they fight for us. No, those policies that you're talking about that sold you on uh, being, becoming a Democrat, that happened 60 years ago. And let me tell you what happened. It brought you over. You've been voting 90% Democrat since. And one, the last cycle, 96% voted Democrat. Now, let me show you what's happened. With the Democratic administration that's in the office now, you've got the gay uh, agenda pushed ahead of you. Uh, I mean, in, 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 I mean with, with, with great force. You've got uh, the DACA thing going on with immigrants. They're coming in and in, in every Democratic city is being forced, forced to receive them. People who have businesses like, uh, what is it? Uh, Airbnb are being forced to take in these people and accept whatever the government's throwing at them. Literally, this is happening in Democratic ran system. If you actually look at and you run the numbers, the most crime ridden cities, the, crime, the cities with the most violence, Democratic mayors. And this is, again, not me selling Republican. I don't like them either because uh, th th they just move at you in a different way. They, they, they attack you at a socioeconomic level. They engineer you into positions. Uh, but my, my problem is, and people say, well, well, why are you always going this direction? And, and Tony Lindsay made a valid point, and I think I made it already, but I'm gonna make it again. I make the point where the point is needed. I don't have to tell black people what Republicans are doing. Y'all are keenly focused. Why? Because the Democrats keep pointing to it. But what you're missing is, while they're pointing to the Democrats, you're missing the sleight of hand that's keeping you screwed. you got to ask yourself, have I been counting the costs? Have I been counting the numbers? Have I been looking at things and seeing what is actually going on? Let me explain something to you. If you go back and you say 60 years since voters rights and all this other stuff kicked in civil rights laws kicked in all this good stuff that was supposed to take us over the top look at where we are socioeconomically we're faring worse home ownership we've not moved an inch uh access and in, 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 in employment mass incarceration gentrification look at where we're at we're actually faring worse the racial wealth wealth gap is widening home ownership is wide home equal valuation on uh, homes owned in the same com comparable when you take co uh, comps, which are comparisons of properties in the same area, one owned by white, one owned by black, black blacks. The white home uh, on resale value gets valued at a higher rate, and the blacks that get valued at a lower rate. This is happening all the time. I've done the research on it. It is a phenomenon, and it's systematic. It's not one person doing it. It's literally with. It's intertwined in the system. And this is happening under Democratic administration. It happens under Republican administration. We don't get any gain. We get talked to differently. That's it. So again, we've got to get out of the mindset of this 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 two party system that has us actually going against each other, and and not recognizing who the real enemy is. That's that's it for the night. I I I just had to come. That was real heavily on my heart. But we've got to do better because it's going to be up to us to change the narrative. It's going to be up to us to decide. Why do you think when you come up with the Black Nationalist Party, when you come up with the Black Panther Party, when you come up with the Green Party, Independent, that they go all out to destroy it? 
because it moves against the norm and it starts to open up oppor opportunities and ideas. It starts to set a new precedent. It starts to give you an idea of what's possible outside of this illusion that this is the only way that it can be done. And let me be clear as I shut this down. This is not an, a, a democracy. Stop letting you stop letting them sell you on a, a democracy means I have a say in everything that happens. It means that I have a vote. No, I vote to put somebody in a position that votes on my behalf, even when they're not voting on my behalf. That's a republic. That's not a democracy. And the thing is, you have nothing. If you don't have wealth, if you don't have power, if you don't have something you can leverage when the politicians you put in office don't do what you tell them to do, you are literally wasting your time because they are being handled by major big interest uh, players that are lobbying and pushing and pushing agendas that benefit them. Big Pharma doesn't benefit you. It kills you. But they've got billions. It's a $500 billion a year industry. The National Rifle Association doesn't care one way or the other. And I'm not against gun rights, but I'm sitting up and saying those are your major players. The insurance companies are lobbying and you're not the winning party on that either. I can just go on and on of these big interest groups that are there lobbying in your state and in on a federal level to get laws passed that benefit corporations. This is what this is about on either end. One wants big government, one wants small government, but everybody wants the businesses to win. We don't win that way. We win when everybody has the ability to create their own wealth. You can't create your own wealth inside of a corporation unless you're the CEO are a stockholder in that corporation. You've got to understand how this game is being played. You got some stuff uh, coming across the counter now by the FDA from Big Pharma that's going to blow your mind. You got some stuff coming across the counter uh, that is going to be passed more than likely, and it's not going to serve us well. Have you looked at the food supply? Have you looked at the what it takes to eat healthy in this country? I know I said I was going to be 10 minutes. I'm almost two minutes, so I apologize. But we are in a situation that we have to learn and gain an understanding of how things work. We have to stop being easily moved and manipulated emotionally based off of some old standard that isn't holding up to its end of the bargain. We gave them a run. We gave them a real nice long run. It's time to sit up and look and say, neither one of them is standing for us. How can we make some uh, movement? How can we create some force understanding that they are never going to play in our best it doesn't serve them to give us what we deserve what we need think about every group that's then got some form of reparations for being harmed and we were harmed more than any and we all we get is we're going to do a study on it and these are from the black faces in those places that's telling us that the sheila jackson lees They get they, they 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 get to come in front of us and be this barrier, this buffer, uh, this illusion that, hey, man, we're making it. Look, I'm up here fighting for you hard. We're going for it. Look, man, I got this. I got this bill. Now, the bill isn't to give us reparations. The bill is to sit up and say we're going to do a X, X amount of month study to determine what should be done about reparations. If we should, if we should. Japanese got Japanese from internment camps got uh uh, the Jews from the Holocaust got it. Indians get res I mean, Indians get reservation and access to being uh, uh, running and opening casinos anywhere, and all of this other stuff. And you can look; at everybody's got something except us. We didn't get our funky forty acres and a mule, which would have made a big difference then. We got un we actually got released into a more hostile environment than we had when we were on the plantation. We, we, we lost our value because they don't own us anymore, so we have no value to them. So the, then our lives were in jeopardy. We had 12 years of reconstruction, one of the most terrifying and awesome things. And yet during that time, we did some unbelievable things. We had black codes. We had convict leasing. We had redlining. We had urban renewal. We had benign neglect. We had re, uh, uh, convict leasing. I can just go on and on. All the things leading up to mass incarceration, miseducation, and so much other stuff that I've talked about in, 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 uh, in great depth. And I can tell you, I've studied this over and over again. We are getting hand, handed a bill of goods that keeps us 
with this illusion that if we can just get Democrats in power and then when they're in power, they keep telling us to wait. We need to do this wait, but everybody's getting what they want. The LGBTQ gets what they want. The Latino community gets what they want. The Asian community gets what they want. I could just go on down and think about it. Everybody's got the stuff they want. And a lot of it was built off of the work we did during the civil rights movement to create space for us. We're getting pushed back. They're using our work to lay the platform for how they're rising. And we're sitting up nine times out of ten, backing them on it, not realizing as they climb, we, we get pushed back to the back. Nobody ever comes and says, I'm going to ride with you the way you rode with me. Nobody. And we keep co-signing it. Time out. Get your mind off that binary thing. That left wing and that right wing belong to that bird, the same bird. It's time for us to create our own spaces, do our own things. So again, I'm gonna get ready to get off of here. I'll check back in with you guys tomorrow with some more information, some more pertinent uh, information, and hopefully we can start making some moves. But that's the thing, we gotta stop just talking. We gotta get out there. That's why I am consistently showing up in the community because if I gotta do it one person at a time, I'm gonna do it one person at a time. I can't touch as many as I want to, but I'm not gonna sit up here and whine because I don't get what I want. I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna do something. That's the mindset we've gotta have. That's the mindset I'm ch challenging you to take. On that note, I'm out of here. Thank you for giving me more time than, uh, uh, I asked for, but I do apologize. I didn't expect to get on the road, but anybody knows me knows. On that note, I'm out of here. If you believe in what we're doing, go to the description box, click the link, and give. We've got to start supporting the people who are actually fighting for us. It's that simple. On that note, I'm out of here. Take care.